Hi, my name is Tara Reed, and if you don't know me, I am an artist, and I am the daughter of an astronomy professor from Westchester University in Pennsylvania. This is a picture of my dad, George Reed. He uh, retired from Westchester a long time ago, 1995, I think. We lost him in 2016 to Alzheimer's, but he was forever teaching and would be very proud of what I am doing here today. It is... Sunday, March 22nd, 2020, and I'm doing my part by staying at home and entertaining myself while the COVID-19 slash coronavirus is ravaging the world. Not fun. Anyway, one of the big topics of the past few weeks has been toilet paper. We've been buying it. We've been <clears throat> stocking up on it. People have been hoarding it. There's memes about it. There's jokes about it. People are wondering what's going to happen when the virus is over and people can build, build small cities out of their toilet paper. Costco is no longer going to be accepting returns of toilet paper and some other products when this is all over. But that is not the point. My point is um, I've been thinking about toilet paper which got me to think about this book that my dad wrote and published in 2004. Now to all my artist friends and any other graphic designers, please forgive my dad for his love of Comic Sans. He just would never ever let it go. I tried, I tried, I tried, because I would design his book covers for him. And I would say, Dad, come on, the 70s called, they want their font back. And he's like, no, I like it. So Comic Sans and him were a thing. And I'm finding that anyone over 70 agrees with him. So we are all just going to have to agree to disagree on that. But that isn't the point um, of this, although a little bit entertaining. But anyway, my dad taught astronomy at the college level and did a lot with planetariums. And when my sister brother and I were younger, he would sometimes let our classes come to the planetarium for a field trip. And then sometimes he would come to our classrooms and he would often come armed with toilet paper in an effort to get kids to understand just how big the universe was. And so he would give us this example and he'd have, you know, the bunch of rolls of toilet paper with him. And I thought I would share that with you today. And heck, you can use it as a mini astronomy lesson for your kids that you are all now homeschooling. Good luck. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the basic premises of, of this part of my dad's book. Um, the nearest star other than the sun is Proxima Centauri. And if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. I am an artist, not an astronomer. And it is 24,000 trillion miles past the sun. Now, maybe you're thinking what I'm thinking when I first looked at the book. Dad, why aren't we talking about the sun? Everybody knows the sun. I can't even pronounce this thing. But then when I looked up how far the sun was, it wouldn't be very exciting because we'd say one roll. So we move on and we talk about Proxima Centauri. So the basic premises for this toilet paper astronomy lesson is number one, the sun is the size of a grapefruit. I do not like grapefruit. I do not have a grapefruit to show you for a visual. So maybe you do at home. The second premise is that one sheet of toilet paper, love that stuff, definitely have some, is while it's four and a half inches long, it's going to represent 1 million miles, okay? So sun size of grapefruit, this is a million miles, and we're gonna talk about how many rolls it's gonna to take to get to that star. Proxima Centauri. I'm gonna say it wrong a zillion times if I'm not saying it right. So my dad's original math from the book is based on Scott toilet paper that to this day has a thousand sheets per roll. With Scott toilet paper and a thousand sheets per roll, with each sheet equaling one million miles, you're going to need 24,437 rolls of toilet paper to get to that star. That starts to make you realize that star is pretty far away. If you stacked that many rolls of toilet paper on top of each other, the stack would be 1.7 miles high. If you rolled all those rolls of toilet paper out from end to end, it would stretch 1,735.5 miles. Now, homeschool parents, this is where you can have a little fun with your kids. Have them figure out what is that far away from their house to get a feel. So I figured out how far, where, like, I was like, let me pick two places that people know. 
So if you were to go from New York, you start in New York City with rolling out your toilet paper, you would be you would end 40 miles shy of Denver, Colorado. So you're getting like three quarters of the way across the United States with that. And then multiply that by, you know, over a million. So now let's talk about toilet paper in terms that we adults really understand right now during the COVID-19 crisis. And that is Costco toilet paper big packs. That's what we were all running to the back of the store to get. So I'm going to talk about two different versions. Now let's say you stocked up on Kirkland bath tissue. A Costco pack has 30 rolls with 425 sheets per roll. So if we do the math, that's 30 rolls times 425, it's 12,750 sheets total, which is equivalent to 12.75 thousand sheet rolls, which is what my dad did his original math on. So the question is, how many of these Costco packs of Kirkland bath tissue do you need to get to Proxima Centauri? Well, you need 1,917 Costco packs to get to that star. Will any one home have that many left when this virus is done? I don't know, maybe some preppers will. I wonder if a town will. It'd be kind of interesting to see like how much back stock we all got when we're done. So I'm just gonna do one more example so this doesn't take all day. This is my personal preference if I'm buying big big packs at, at Costco and have my choice of what's available is the Charmin Ultra Soft. A Costco pack again has 30 rolls, but Charmin Ultra Soft only has 214 sheets per roll. That's why it's so much nicer on your bottom. It's softer, fluffier. Kirkland is two ply, so you know, we do what we can. But same math. 30 rolls times 214 sheets, that's 6,420 sheets total, which is equivalent to 6.5 thousand sheet rolls within one Charmin Ultrasoft Big Pack. You wanna know how many Charmin Ultrasoft Big Packs you need to get to Proxima Centauri? 3,760 packs of Charmin Ultrasoft to get there. Anyway, my dad would be so happy that I am continuing to share his toilet paper examples and share his love of astronomy with the world when he is gone. And I have to say it has entertained me, brought me great joy, and made me put makeup on today to share it with you. So stay safe, share it with your kids, play with some other astronomy math if, if you want to get some science into your homeschool routine or if it's just something that they're really into. And um, have a wonderful day.